Hi everybody, this is Brian Seymour, Director of Instructional Technology for Pickerton Local School District. So this is the Going Google 301 video for Google Drive. So I want to show you a couple things. Um, as we know, Google Drive is where we're going to be using to store most of our uh, material, and we're also going to be using it to share most of our material. So what I want to show you today is just some other additional little things that may or may not help you, depending on how you want to organize your Google Drive. One of the most important things that you're going to see is eventually, as we use this more and more and more, you're going to see more and more and more stuff coming into your Google Drive. So you're really going to want to be proactive on organizing your Google Drive. So to organize Google Drive, um, all you need to do is create folders. Okay. So if you want a new folder, you can create that new folder. You can call it whatever you want. So we'll call this one test and it pops right up there and then you can drag so let's say I've got this document here you can drag whatever you want to store right inside of that folder so instead of having random folders or random pieces and parts all over the place now you can have everything stored right inside of a folder um, and then if you wanted to you could put a folder inside of a folder um, and as you can see here at like athletic emergency we were trying to work on some things we've got multiple folders inside of multiple folders so you really have no no limit on any of those kind of stuff and if you find you don't want a folder all you gotta do is delete it All right. Um, the other thing is eventually you're gonna have a lot of things coming in here um, as well from your shared folders so as you can see, lots of lots of different things that are coming in here that are being shared. So one of the nice things is is to search. Um, you can search from um, with from keys. So if I did from Kim Kissel, oh, just probably got to do by your email. So now here's one of the things that Kim has sent to me um, through a shared Google Drive. Okay. Another thing I want to show you is with Google Drive, um, you can also do access or store things directly from your email into Google Drive. So little little early um, viewing here. This is what your Google Drive could look like um, once that you get um, over to your, your email kicked over. So um, I was in the first wave of some of the early adopters just so that way we could figure out all the kinks and stuff like that. So let's say for example, let me find something that has <laughs> okay. So here is the email from our company that we're going to use to hire. Well, that's not what I want. Let's go over here. Technology purchases. So here's a quote. We're purchasing a bunch of um, earbuds for park testing. So as you can see, here is an attachment. Now, if you hover over the attachment, you get two options. The first option is download, which is what we've normally done. It downloads into your download folder or onto your desktop. But this one right here will actually download right into Drive. So if I click on Drive, it'll then actually give me an option of saying, okay, here's all your folders that you have in Drive would you like one of these inside of there so if you do let's say I will put it inside of the technology folder and I say move it into there so now it's directly saved it right into my Google Drive so if we go back up here and we go to Drive and we put that in the technology folder so if I open up my technology folder and it is right here Okay. So there's our quote that we had for earbuds. So it's just been really nice trying to integrate everything together. So now you've got your file storage right with your email. You don't have to do multiple steps or multiple parts. The other part that I would recommend um, that you do is you download Google Drive. Um, so just do a search real quick for download Google Drive to desktop. And what happens then is, is you get this icon that you can put down here in your dock. And what this does is it syncs with your web service. And then you can click here. And now it pulls up on your, on your desktop 
all of your different folders. And you can see the ones with the little people on them like this. These are ones that I've shared with somebody else. So myself and somebody else has access to those. Um, so if I opened up any one of these, I could see the information that's inside of those. Um, so it's just nice to be able to have those on your computer, on the web. You can do a little bit of both. They sync with each other. So if you do one to one thing, you'll see it on the other one. Um, and then it also, it just lives up here in your toolbar and you can see everything that's here, how much space you've used, so on and so forth. Okay. So that is the end of Google Drive 301. Um, hope you're getting some experience on this. Um, the plan is, is to start moving people over relatively soon um, and uh, getting people the exposure and the need that they need with, with Google to uh, be successful when everybody's over full go. All right, so thank you very much.